Welcome back to Google Apps Script. In this particular class, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to send emails using Google Apps Script and the Mail App API. Hi, I'm Vivian Arana. Let's go to the previous project that we built to scrape a website. And what we did was we scraped webs this particular website and got the number of coronavirus cases. So let's go back to a project. Let's go to my email. There's no emails in here. So I'll go back to my project which was uh, scrape a website I'm going to refresh it just so that it shows up and looks like it didn't get saved so no, go open it again and name it scrape website it's very common for sometimes the website uh, the project not getting saved and it'll save it as untitled document and you'll have to go back and save it again so I have this information now I want this information to be displayed to me, to be sent to me in an email. So I can just say variable email body. Let me create a, can say, can give a bold string and say number of coronavirus cases plus items of interest. So this is what should be emailed in the email body. Now what should be the subject? I'm going to say subject equal to now virus update. And now how do I send an email? To send an email we use something called as a mail app API. So I'll call mail app dot send email is the function and inside this we need a message. A message is an object so we give it inside a bracket and it has but key value pairs one is two I'm gonna say learn in 15 minute at gmail.com can say BCC to in Arana at gmail.com I can give a subject I can also give attachments but I don't have any attachments subject and then finally HTML body since I have HTML in my email body content I'm gonna give that and that's how you send an email using Google Apps Script let's see if it works I'm gonna go ahead and run this and it's gonna ask for permission because now I'm using the mail app API so my user allow and now it's running so let's go to our email refresh the email and there's a security alert for the permission that I gave to the app and also this where it has number of coronavirus cases is this much so it's been incre increasing every minute these days but as you see it kind of sent me an email just by sending it through this particular you can also give from as to specify who did it come from you can specify more information you can give attachments if you have a attachment that you want to send from like let's say if you have Google Drive access a file from them there take it as an attachment and send it along with your email so these are the things that you can do with Google Apps Script